And now we head to North Korea, where the U.S. government is urgently calling for the release of Merrill Newman, an 85-year-old war veteran who has been detained in North Korea since late October. National Security Council spokeswoman Caitlin Hayden said on Monday, Given Mr. Newman's advanced age and health conditions, we urge North Korea to release Mr. Newman so he may return home and reunite with his family. The U.S. intensified its calls for Newman's release after a disturbing video was posted online on Sunday. Now, the video showed Newman reading a written statement that apologized for his participation in the Korean War and asking that he not be punished by the North Korean government. Let's take a look. On this trip, I can un understand that in U.S. and Western countries, there is misleading information and propaganda about DPRK. North Korean officials have previously been accused of forcing detainees to confess to crimes they did not commit. Newman was detained moments before boarding his flight home to Palo Alto following a 10-day tour of the country. The U.S. State Department is working to secure Newman's release through the Swedish embassy in North Korea. Newman is reportedly in good health and is receiving medication that his family has mailed to North Korea.